Hello everyone, it's Kei and I'm a pro trader as well as a forex mentor based in Tokyo, Japan. In this video part 6 of price action series, I'll be explaining about how to set your eyes by analyzing the wave patterns. Now there are wave theories like Elliott wave, but in this video, the main focus is going to be on how to ride on the market trend so that you won't miss out the correct direction for your trading. Also, as I get questions about how to run forex from the past charts, I will also be talking about how I study from the past charts along with the wave patterns so that you can do the same to improve your trading skills. So if you like this topic already, please press a good button and make sure to subscribe so that you won't miss the next two price action videos, right? Now let's begin. If you get used to set your perspective on the market trend, you have three important trade results. Risk to reward ratio, profit factor, and all multiple will be drastically improved. And in order to be able to set your eyes on the market, understanding the wave pattern is very important. Ever since I started to upload videos, I get messages from traders every day. And one thing I've noticed is that they have to know what they don't know to improve their trades instead of recognizing what they know. So in other words, if you don't know what you should know to be a good trader, then you're putting all your time and effort on something that's incorrect. So what is the thing that you should know to be a good trader? My answer is to be able to know which direction you want to be trading because if you know the direction of the market, your trade will be much improved although you don't have all the detailed knowledge on some indicators or some technical tools after all. So if you're not being able to win constantly, for example, you might go like you think the market is going up, so you place a buy, but later on it goes backwards and get lost. Or you thought it's gonna go down, so you place a sell, but later the market goes up and you get lost. And if you think you keep repeating these trades and lose over time, this is gonna be a video for you. First of all, when you think about trading, it's just like riding a wave in the ocean. You know, I used to be in Los Angeles and sometimes I enjoyed surfing. I just liked it so much and that's one thing I miss here in Japan. But when you think about surfing, there are three actions. One is paddling, like you paddle yourself and wait for a good wave. And there are a variety of waves, like if it's in the range, the wave is smaller and it goes off shortly. But when it's a trend, the wave lasts relatively longer and when you become good at surfing on the trend you can ride the wave until the end and the wave really depends on the currency pair like US dollar JPN for example is uh, relatively more calm with less volatility but for for example like pound, pound dollar goes up and down with bigger volatility waves so depending on what kind of sea you are going to swim the waves are quite different so first, you better know what kind of sea you are swimming at. And after you decide to ride a wave, you need to paddle and wait for a good wave. You know, you keep waiting and when there is a good wave, you just ride it with a good timing. And the timing takes time to master and I think it's the most difficult part to place a position in exact timing. So this is something you need to work on. However, in the first place, if you don't know which direction the wave is coming from, you cannot talk about timing. It's like you have no sense of direction in the market and you cannot ride a wave in that case. And the chart is just like a map of the market, so to speak. So if you cannot read a map on the market but still trying to trade, I think it's quite foolish. So you have to correct the sense of direction because if you cannot read a map, you don't know where you're at and where you are going. And that's why you need to set your perspective on the market in terms of which direction the market is moving. And whatever strategies you use, this is very important to improve your trading skills. So let me explain how you can do this. This is how I actually do when I do backtesting and look back uh, different charts. But for example, set a time frame first. To me, I'm a day to swing trader, so I basically trade based on daily charts. So first, you take a daily chart, and when you look at a chart like this on a screenshot right now, 
uh, it's been higher highs and lower highs so it's been uptrend right and when this daily chart is going to have a possibility to reverse the downside is going to be when the market breaks this line downwards so this is like the last stand because if the market breaks this line that means the market may reverse all the way to the downside based on this daily time frame and what I've also done is to look back the past charts for about one year at least you know I take the screenshots and print them out and lay them out uh, on the table for the past one year on one single currency pair when I did it I picked up a US dollar JPN pair because the currency and the economy was quite familiar with me uh, both United States and Japan and I would look back and find where this last stand were on the past charts because when I do this when the market moves like this pattern next time I can instantly get a sense of how it's gonna move so how you become a better trader is simply to know how many patterns you have based on your past experience and one of the most effective ways to have that skill is to look back the charts but not only just looking back you focus on one thing at a time in this case the market has been lower high higher high and when the market did not renew the previous high and going backwards what can happen next right what can happen next so you only focus on this question what can happen next in this case and look back at past charts when it's in the downtrend it's still the same after the previous low when it doesn't renew the market downwards what can happen next one of the possibilities is that the price did not renew the previous low because uh, there was a strong support here in weekly or monthly chart, right? So in this case, you better look at different time frames and find out why it's being supported here and get as many cases as possible in your brain when you look back the past charts. For example, when daily is bullish and let's say this line is the last possible support line and as time goes by you see a double top like this so what can happen next really depends and you can think of lots of variations one is the price keeps going down breaking the support line downwards and it turns to the downtrend this is one of the hypotheses or second the market is going to be in a range between this support line and also the upper high here and it breaks down eventually or after the range it can go up and continues the bullishness this is also another hypothesis all right let me take a step further and show you other ideas to ride on the wave you see this daily is going up but when you look at the weekly chart it's been coming down bearish and this resistance level might be a pullback level in that weekly time frame and if that's the case you can draw a weekly resistance here and the reason why this daily stopped here is because of this weekly resistance for those who are trading based on daily we think that the price can keep going up but for those who are trading based on weekly think this level is the best pullback sell place and that's why there will be a range between uh, daily buyers and weekly sellers here and in theory weekly has more power than daily so in this case you will know there's a higher possibility for the price to be going down so it can be either a straight down or b after the consolidation and you also know that it's not gonna be likely c however c pattern can be when there is an even stronger monthly support here at this lowest level and if the market touched at this support level and has been pushed back up then it can break the resistance in weekly and become C pattern as a result. So you are looking at a chart based on daily, but if you look at it in bigger time frame charts, you will start to know what can happen in the market in relation to those different time frame charts on the market. So look back the past charts by however you do, like you can print them out or you can just do it on the screen. But the point is you have to do it by yourself because even you look at this one single video you will never get this so i want you to look back the past charts all by yourself at least for the past one year and that's the most important thing because that way you will get a sense in terms of which direction the market is moving you know within the daily chart there are four hour one hour and some other smaller time frames and yes you can trade based on 
five minute chart, but knowing what market environment you are trading makes a huge difference. Because, for example, you look at a chart in five minute right here, and no matter how much you think it's a downtrend, when the price touches on this support level, it can reverse to the upside again. And you never know the reason by looking at that five minute chart only. And if you don't look at a chart like this and only keep focusing on minor details, no matter how many years you study Forex, you're gonna be in a bad loop and not being able to win constantly. So rather than just looking for the, some signals to trade or run robots, focus on the basics first and that way you can find a big wave that's coming next in the market. You know, I'm glad that you're watching my videos, however, just by looking at these videos never makes you improve. So do this kind of training at the same time. And looking back the past one year chart does not take like month, you know, it just takes few days. If you're busy with your own work, take a weekend to look back the chart. And if you're too lazy to do these simple basics, you cannot move on to the next step. I think this is a very basics, but I found traders forget about basics and tend to look for some techniques. And that's why I recorded a video like this today. So if you're not sure of which direction to trade, first look at the wave pattern in your favorite time frame and just focus on one single time frame first and try to read the wave pattern whether it's lower high, higher high or vice versa. And when it collapses, look at bigger time frame charts and look for the reason why the trend stopped at that place. Then look back the past charts and find if the same pattern can be found in the past on that particular pair. And usually you can find a similar patterns in the past, so get as many cases as possible and come back to the current chart and try to expect what can happen next according to what you've seen in the past. And remember, do one thing at a time when you look back. Like when you look at the past chart, suddenly you start to think, oh, I can place buy here or sell here and get profits, you know? However, what I mean by looking back the chart is not the back testing to look for the entry point. It's not. Just forget about the entry timing, but just focus on how the wave is moving. Like focus on what the market is like as a whole, including weekly and monthly. So again, when you do this, do not look for the entry timing, but rather try to grasp the market direction along with the momentum on the wave. All right, on the next video, I will continue to be talking about some trade techniques in row reversals, like when the support tends to become a resistance and vice versa from my own trade examples from some real charts. So if you don't want to miss the next one, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell so that you get notification and you're not going to miss the next one. And also, if you like today's video, kindly press a good button so that it drives me to make another good trading videos. Alright, thank you so much for watching until the end and see you on the next one. Stay gold. Mata ne!